In this video we're going to interpret difference and subtract from. In the first examples we'll be subtracting one number from another okay, with integers and the second examples will be uh, using the word difference to, to subtract uh, two integers. Okay, So first example, subtract 5 from negative 100. Okay, What would you do there? Mind you, this is a positive 5. That's a positive number. See that? Positive, right? And you're subtracting it from a negative. Okay? So that's a positive 5, like $5. So what it is, we're subtracting the 5 from here. We're subtracting, it's like subtracting cash from a bank account or a credit card account or whatever, right? Subtracting money from an account. So in the account, we have negative 100. And we're subtracting 5. We're subtracting a positive 5. We're subtracting $5. So negative 100 in the account. We subtract 5 from that. What do we get? Well, we're even more in debt now, aren't we? So we're negative 105 in debt. Or of course, we could change subtraction to plus negative. 100 bad guys plus 5 bad guys, 105 bad guys, right? What about this guy? Subtract negative 400 from 1000. What does that mean? What does it look like? Well, it means, imagine we have a $400 rent bill for, for renting a part of a house, I guess. Apartment or something. Okay, if we subtract that bill, okay, that means it's cancelled. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, cancel, cancel the bill. It's like giving you 400, right? We're subtracting it from 1,000. So I have $1,000 in my bank account. The rent was canceled for the month. Don't worry about that. So your rich uncle paid the rent. So the bill was canceled. Um, and so it's kind of like giving you $400, isn't it? So we're subtracting the negative 400 from the 1,000. So we're starting with the 1,000, then we're subtracting the negative 400. So see how we have a double negative here. So what's the answer? Negative negative makes plus plus 1,000 plus 400, 1,400, right? Okay, press pause, do this one yourself. Subtract negative 125 from negative 300. Okay, I'll do it now. You start with the negative 300. From that, you subtract whatever it is. Subtracting. So from that, we're subtracting the negative 125. Okay? Parentheses are always useful to make sure that you uh, don't make a mistake on negatives. So now we have negative negative, that makes plus plus, of course, right? So, I mean, just for fun, this is your electric bill, okay? Your electric bill has a balance, so that's your electric bill, electric balance, electric bill, uh, electric account balance, really, isn't it? Electric account balance, it's negative 300, okay? And here's a bill of uh, of 125, that that a monthly bill. And you know what? That was just it was just a mistake. They made a mistake, so they need to cancel that. And so, what's in your in your um, account now? So if this bill is cancelled, whoops, the daisies. Uh, that that was a mistake. So we'll take that out of there. So if that is cancelled, if that you're taking away a bill, you're taking away a negative. That's a good thing. That's like giving you $125. So what's in there now? Well, you've got 300 negatives, 125 positives, negative 175. So in your your account balance is negative 175 instead of negative 300 because this particular bill, this particular charge, was cancelled. Right? Okay. Second examples. Find the difference of 18 and 12. Difference means simply subtract between the two numbers. 
when we get to the negatives, it's going to be very useful to use parentheses. Why not just start now? I mean, if you, you don't have to, but I mean, difference means take one number and subtract another. The difference of 18 and 12, and when you do difference of something, you always take the first number, 18, subtract the second number, 12. What's the answer? Well, 18 minus 12 is 6, or you can do this, plus negative, 18 good guys, 12 bad guys, 6. How about this one, the difference of 12 and 18? Difference, when you take the difference of something, you always take the first number, you see, and subtract the next number, right? You always take the 12, and that's a, you take the 12, then you subtract the 18. So it's the first number, subtract the next number. Yes, you can use parentheses if you like. Don't really need them here. We don't have negative numbers anyway, right? Anyway, um, 12 subtract 18, what does that give you? $12, spend 18, you're in debt by 6. In debt by 6, negative 6. Or 12 plus negative 18. 12 positives, 18 ba negatives, 6 negatives. So you've got to notice that the difference of 18 and 12 is 6, but the difference of 12 and 18 is negative. 6. So watch out for that. In other words, um, subtraction is not commutative. 12 minus 18 minus 12 is not the same thing as 12 minus 18. You can try that with 10 minus um, 2. Is that the same thing as 2 minus 10? Are they the same or not? What's 10 minus 2? 8. What's 2 minus 10? negative 8. So these are not the same thing. You can't just interchange uh, subtraction. Of course you can interchange addition. Um, so for example, and even if it's a negative number, you know 10 plus negative 2 or negative 2 plus 10. That's interchanging addition, you see. And they're the same, aren't they? Because 10 and negative 2 is 8. Negative 2 and 10 is also 8. So we're interchanging addition, that's fine, but you cannot switch around a, a subtraction like that, right? Find the difference of negative 3 and negative 5. When you do difference, you take the first number, subtract the second number. Take the first number, subtract the second number. Take the negative 3, subtract the negative 5. Use parentheses if you want to. If it helps. Take the first number, subtract the second number. Negative 3 minus negative 5. What does that give you? Negative, negative. Plus, plus. That's a negative 3 plus a positive 5. 3 negatives, 5 positives. 2 positives. Press pause and do this one yourself. Find the difference of negative 5 and negative 3. Remember, you don't have to write out the words. Just write down the answer to these things. Don't, no point in writing down the words. Just write down the answers. So the difference, we take the first number, subtract the second number. Take the negative 5, subtract the negative 3. If parentheses help, use parentheses. Negative, negative 3, plus, plus. Negative 5, plus, positive 3. 5 negatives, 3 positives, negative 2.